Hey friends, welcome back. Today's lesson is all about trusting in your desire and in your vibration and letting go of managing the details. When you have mastery of your frequency, of your state of being, you no longer need to dominate or control the details of your environment. But even more importantly than that is to let go of the idea of the timing of when and how things will be created for you and come into your life. Many people start with a great expansive sense of their dream and then they get bogged down by focusing too much on the details and physical reality and seeing how things are not yet working out and mistrusting what can come to them and when it can come to them. And so they're trying to take over their higher selves job. This is a innocent mistake that should be fixed if we want to continue to enjoy our expansion at an accelerated pace and our manifestation capabilities at an accelerated pace. So forget about the details and trust in the desire itself, trust in the vibration of what makes you come alive the most itself. <clears throat> so I always say, let go of the hows and the whens of why something manifests, or sorry, the how something manifests and the when something manifests. These are usually the most frequent things that we get too controlling over. How something appears to us, in what shape, in what size, in what way it will come about, through what person or through what means it comes about. It has to come through money. It has to come through my bank account. It has to come through my job because there's no other way. It has to come from this person, not that person. My joy has to come from this person, not that person, etc. So when we get to blinded to how things can come to us magically in surprising ways. And if we cannot appreciate the, in the ways in which the mysterious ways in which things come to us, then we will close ourselves off and we will become controlling of our environment and we will lose control of our vibration, which is the worst state to be in. Because it's the state of illusion, it's the state of the victim. It's the state of feeling stuck in physical reality when in fact you are a non-physical consciousness creating physical reality, inserting physical reality through your state of being. So let go of how things will manifest for you. Allow yourself to be surprised. Just know that you're excited about this particular idea, but it can come or the same level of joy or an even greater level of joy can come in a form that's represented in any type of way. It doesn't have to come in a way that you thought it was going to come about. If you can let go of the house, then creation can really, really enter your vision and can really make it palpable how spontaneous of a co-creation this is between you and your higher self. And sometimes your higher self simply knows better what's an actual representation of your joy rather than your limited sense of imagination, your untrained imagination, your belief system based in linear reality and based on past experiences, you project into your future what you would truly enjoy. But your higher self knows that from different states and different perspectives, you enjoy certain things that much more. Certain things are that much more valuable and beneficial to you as reflections of who you are than the things that you may think you actually want. So have an openness, cultivate the openness to trust in the vibration and the desire and your higher self itself, letting go of how things should come to you. Don't be insistent in how it should appear. Be grateful for whatever comes your way and define everything as a positive, piece of evidence that you are fulfilling your dream, that you are creating your reality. Let every moment, every creation, no matter what it looks like, empower you into knowing that you put it there somehow and then trust and feel appreciation for that. This way you accelerate even more. Now the other thing is so how things manifest. The other thing is when things manifest. This is probably even more crucial. Most people are always insistent upon when things should manifest. There's this sense of time that then generates this sense of lack of it's not here yet. Now this is the perfect setup of physical reality, of the physical illusion, is to help us feel what it feels like to not instantly manifest something. Because on the dream state or the spirit state, whatever we think of is instantly generated. So it's only within the physical illusion of consciousness that consciousness can explore what it's like to be an individual generating a desire and not immediately seeing it manifest. 
It's a very unique rare state to be in for consciousness. So it utilizes this to the fullest. It wants to practice faith. It wants to practice trust. It wants to practice confidence, regardless of circumstance, by putting itself into a physical vibratory state or plane of consciousness where things don't manifest seemingly instantaneously, but require the illusion of linear time to progress before they can truly manifest in full. This is an awesome setup. You gotta appreciate the system. If you don't appreciate this linear time lag, you're going to feel very miserable in this life. So simply appreciate that this is what you chose to experience because you want to practice faith. You want to practice trust. You want to practice even deeper conviction in your true vibratory state, regardless of how it manifests in the outside visual world. You want to become a master of your vibratory state above all else. More so than manifesting what you desire, you wish to manifest true mastery of your state of being. That's why you've placed yourself here in physical reality, among other reasons, to learn the vibratory state of being that that is what controls reality and that you don't need to feel anything based on the circumstances. You can feel whatever you want to feel based on your own definitions, based on your own free will choice. So let go of when things should manifest, let go of how they should appear and let go of when they should appear. If you can let go of when they should appear and simply be in the state of joyful, blissful, co-creative imagination, to be passionate about these things and then another thing and then another thing and to keep planting those seeds without looking back how your previous seeds are doing. Then you're really in the flow of that super accelerated living where you start to continuously create more of your reality, more effortlessly, more swiftly. So when you let go of how and when things should manifest, they start to generally manifest in an amazing way they start to show up in an amazing way and they start to show up amazingly incredibly fast but this is only happening because you let go of the tension of believing it should manifest at a certain time at a certain date before a certain year or in a certain way when you let go of the details and instead shift all your intention into feeling good in the trust state trusting in the vibration of your desire itself learning to enjoy the feeling of desire without the inclusion of believing something is lacking on the physical level. Simply be in the state of desire as if there is no time, as if it's already manifest, as if it doesn't even need to manifest. If you can simply enjoy the imagination of your dreams, then you're onto something. Then you're off and ro running at a fast accelerated pace. And then things can actually come to you because you are in a state of high acceleration. And so highly accelerated events can happen in amazing ways, in magical ways, in impossible ways, in paradigm, linear paradigm defining ways, def defying ways, sorry. I've seen things happen that are considered impossible and it's just awesome and it happens every day in a sense. But even semi-impossible things, like things that shouldn't happen as fast as they do for me or things that cannot possibly come about in this mysterious of a way, it needs to come through a set linear pattern, it needs to come through the bank account, it needs to come through this particular person, etc. If you let go of the house and when things should manifest and you shift all your energy into simply feeling good no matter what, feeling in the desires, imaginative state of being, being that imaginator, being that imagineer, being that creator of your reality, not the beggar, not the victim, not the slave of your circumstances, not even focused on your circumstances, but completely in the state of being of your preference, letting go of the details, forgetting about the details even, and resting in the joy of I am already here, my imagination is all that I need. This is my exciting state of being, this is what I want. When you do that, things will manifest for you very rapidly. So let go of the details, take a deep breath, relax for two to five seconds, all your tensions, uh, give all the details back to your higher self, back to God, back to source, back to life, back to existence, back to consciousness, whatever you want to call you, all of you, give it back, let it go, disown it, it's not up to you how and when things are going to happen. It is up to you how you wish to feel right now and what you want to focus on next. Be in that state of trust, trust in the vibration and the desire itself without a need for it to manifest in a certain way or at a certain time. And if you can be in that state, things will happen at an accelerated pace. I promise you that. You will enjoy your life like never before and you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are the infinite creator of reality. Thank you. Enjoy this lesson. Repeat it once more or twice more before you continue with the next lesson. Share your experience of this lesson in the study group and start to notice 
where you hold on to tense ideas with your own dreams of how and when things should manifest. And as always, I recommend writing some of these sentences, these beliefs down, some of these focal points down so that you can more clearly reflect on it and remind yourself and see that you tend to get bogged down in this or that way. And then when you see that, feel free from it, transcend it instantly, instantly feel like, ah, oh, that is mistrust, that is fear, that is lack. I recognize it, it doesn't taste good, I don't want it, I choose to be free. Surrender for two to five seconds and therefore forever, all the details, let it go, give it back to God, give it back to source, give it back to your higher self, trust in the vibration state itself and enjoy yourself right here, right now in the free non-physical state of consciousness. Do this and things will happen magically. Enjoy. Thank you.